Hi, this is Linda from homeschooling6.com and today I wanted to share with you um, science handbook and portfolio from the Thinking Tree. You can document your research, discoveries, experiments, and science projects. And so right here um, is my science journal, what do you want to learn? And they can write that and they have their action steps, supplies needed, and materials needed for projects and experiments. And here are all the pictures that are going to be in the back. And we'll get to that in a little bit. The next chapter is science tools. Draw all your tools. And then the, the next one is research and reading time. Here they would write the name of the book, topic, date, chapter name, page, title, science. So they could um, drawing and notes so they can illustrate that. And these pages right here repeat themselves. The repeated pages. And then the next one is My Observations and Discoveries. And on these pages, they will um, tape or draw images and um, they can illustrate or, you know, write however they want to fill out these pages. And again, these ones repeat. The next one is Biography of a Scientist, Title and Date. There are some of these. Science stories, if I had discovered a creative writing activity, drawings, photos, or images. So I get creative there. A study of scientists and scientific discoveries, who, what, when, and how, drawings, photos, and images. Science vocabulary pages, look up and define five words, choose ten spelling words related to science. Again, these pages repeat. Science films and tutorials. My science projects, and there's, I believe, up to twelve. They would write their materials, results, the um, date started, date completed, and so forth. And they could put drawings, photos, and images here, or illustrate. Record keeping, charts, and graphs, and they could, these are repeated as well. And these are some fun pages. Research, essays, and creative writing. Use these pages for research. So um, they would put a title, the date. We have a lot of cute pictures. So we have quite a few of those. And again, those are the, those photos that were at the beginning that I showed you. And this is neat. I love how um, the periodic table of elements is here. And then you have the blank one in the back. So there's a few of these. And then in the back, um, they have more blank books that they could fill out if there's more science books they're using. And they could do that. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed your peek inside the science handbook and portfolio. Thank you for watching.